Hello and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program with me, the Green Dragon. So, last time we had a horrible, horrible crash. Not of the game crash variety, but just our rocket coming out. Well, deciding to spin the fuck out. But clearly I have not learned, so I'm just gonna be uh, starting my turn nice and early here as well, because fuck it all. Gonna throttle down a bit to conserve our fuel because we only want to be going so quickly right here. And these are nicely getting spent. Let me just roll there to, you know, position myself for things. Okay, nearly at cutoff point for the first stage bye and keep turning ever so slightly carefully though very carefully hell I want to be more turned really if I can because well you know fucking inefficient ascents I'm just watching everything carefully, trying not to fuck it up, like you do. I mean, at this point, I should be burning for all I'm worth and pretty much horizontally, so let's attempt to do that. There we go. Four engines sending us towards our nearest satellite. Well, not so nearest, actually. Since the moon is nearer. Never mind. Brain is doing the stupids today, apparently. But that's okay. We do that all the time. The Dutch. Well, this looks nice and shallow. And that looks like overheating. Uh huh. That's less good. Right, yeah. Screw that. Could we, like, please get out of the atmosphere without anything exploding? Thank you. Like, I would really appreciate it. Please. Just freaking cool off, will you? Oh, is it these? I think it is. Let's just log the data. While we are up here, because those can be reused at will. And let's see what awaits us in space. Ah, oh, crap. I saved, I think I might have saved it over the satellite save. Whoops. Guess we're gonna have to recreate that design if we ever need it again. Too bad. Oh, well. There we go. Probably won't be able to transmit anything, actually, from Minmus, because we didn't bring an antenna. Or any freaking... Any freaking power... Generation, that is. Or batteries, for that matter. Kind of left everything. To, uh, you know, go fuck itself. Always nice when you do that, eh? So, let's see if we can push ourselves into a stable orbit. At least we managed to somehow do an efficient ascent. Gods know how. And let's just slam on the gas. There we go. Well, it's close enough. It's actually close enough. It's fine. Set as target. Where's our ascending descending nodes? Okay. 
add a new world. Okay, that would fix the ascending node somewhat. Okay. Just want it to be picture perfect. Okay, let's reposition ourselves to aim at it and then head over to the uh, burn point. Okay, Jeb's gonna get a uh, flyby. Of Minmus, no less. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Full burn. Let's keep focused on the target marker. Cut off and adjust the rest of the way down at a much lower right and pretty much on the dot what are we looking at perfect that should be close enough and then we are gonna accelerate here no 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 too much too much too much too much okay so there is an encounter to be had right there an efficient one. Okay. Right, so yeah, we're waiting for Minmus to catch up to us if we are there. We do it like this, however, then we are in a better position. Still waiting for it to catch up with us. Okay, what if we burn even earlier? Like, let's say we burn out to there, and we just fiddle around to see at what point we would get an encounter. Okay. That seems a lot more reasonable. Minimus perhaps could be lower. Don't want an impact, mind you, but something like... Well... Uh, Minimus perhaps 100, eh? That's probably the best we're gonna get when planning the encounter, so what we really want to do is actually, you know, do the burn. And then adjust it when we're a bit closer, maybe. Because I do want a close pass. Okay. We want to burn at about 35, 30 seconds, so now. And full burn! This will more or less use up the most of the fuel in the transfer stage. Which is fine, that's what it's there for, honestly. To finish getting us into orbit and to transfer us over. Hell, this is being more efficient than I hoped. But you know, I always try to build with a good reserve. So, that's pretty much it, but we want to adjust it because we want to be precise here. So we're going to limit the thrust to give us more precise control. We're going to put it pretty much on the dot, or close enough. Okay, the maneuver is gone. Okay, and that's our minimus periapsis, essentially. And we have no radio contact now. Fair enough. 
fair enough. So I do, however, want to go outside and grab the temperature data and store the experiments. Board, let's see. Crew report, worthless. What about EVA? Worthless. Fair enough. What about temperature stuff out here? Because those are from upper atmosphere, right? Okay. Let's EVA and take those, because those are still science, and science we can use, no less, for uh, stuff. Take data. Take data. Store. Perfect. Now, let's um, head on over. Head on over, because I want to see. Okay. So here I want to adjust it downwards. How do we do that, you ask? Well, we burn towards 90, in this case, to adjust our trajectory so that we're heading more or less straight towards the planet. Come on, just turn you freaking thing. But yeah, we're gonna adjust it downwards because I want a close pass. My trust is still limited on this, but it's fine. We don't want a huge burn anyway, most likely. Hell, we could actually slam this thing into Minmas. Okay, what does our eventual orbit look like? Interesting. It looks interesting. Let's try and get within 30 kilometers of it. There. Okay, so that would slam us out of the uh, Kerbin Sphere influence outright. Interesting. But okay. Okay, keep this. Keep this. Log this. And log this. So, we want to take these two. The other two can wait. And we want a space EVA report. And we want a crew report actually as well. And that ought to give us a decent amount of science. Yay, so. We're not going to be entering orbit. We're just going to be doing a close pass to grab some more science. At a relatively low speed, actually. Actually, if I lowered my speed here, what would that do to my orbit after I leave? Oh, that's boring. Let's not. What if I speed it up on my exit? Would that slam me down into Kerbin? Oh, it would. How much would I need? Yeah, it would work weirdly. Fair enough. So, crew report. Yep. Still looks weird. 
Yeah, this is still high. How low do I need to be to be low? Still high. I think I need gonna need to uh, enter orbit here. It's the only way to be sure. Are we still high? Yep. Crap. Just point retrograde. Just point retrograde. Retrograde, Jeb. It's it's fine. Just point retrograde. We're gonna we're gonna solve this bullshit. There we go. Just gonna enter orbit ever so slightly. Okay. So much for that stage. Are we in orbit yet? Are we in orbit yet? Are we in orbit yet? We're in orbit yet. Okay, good. 20k then. Surely that's low. Okay, let's... Let's see, is below 30 enough? While in space near Minmus. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Observe this near Minmus. Perfect. That's some good science. We can get some shit done with that. And the EVA report. Take data. Take data. Take data. And store. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to let go. Collect data. Yes. Close doors. Collect data. Data, close doors, collect data. So I would need a scientist to reset the machines. But a scientist could not fly as well as Jeb. A conundrum, you say? Well, you can always bring more people, in theory, if you're gonna be a pervert about it. Grab board. Well, actually, uh, can I take the data and store it in the capsule? I can. Hello. Well, that is freaking perfect. So, near Apoaps, we want to escape out of here. Ooh. Awkward. The angles are all weird. Yeah, we probably just want to... Um, I mean, shit. We probably just want to... Um, Enter Kerbin Sphere Influence and then deorbit from there because, like, crap, son, you know? Dude, no, 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 don't fight me. We are exiting this crap like so, Jeb. We are going. We are just going. Did you just kill my electric charge, you stupid fuck? Why? Because I was spending it as I was entering time warp? That is... That is just... You're a sad, sad person and I hate you. No, like really, I hate you. Why would you do this to me? Let's... 
focus retrograde and just get it down there. Come on, just focus retrograde. There. Let's bring it in. Let's just bring it the frack in. Moon, don't you fucking dare. You want a very shallow re-entry, because we're coming in from high end. Frankly, I don't trust this whole setup, so... Actually, we could go with 50. How much fuel do we have left? Yeah, we, we could actually go with 50 and use engine to break us. Let's go with that. Whoa! So that was sudden. Okay. I'm gonna need you to focus retrograde, Jeb. Use that little bit of trust to spin this thing around. Okay, good, good, good. You've spun it around. And now you've fucked it up. Jeb! Never... Never trust a freaking Kerman. There, have all the thrust you can take. We're gonna slow down by engine. Because, you know what, fuck it, I don't want to risk it, we're just gonna slam on the brakes for all we're worth. We're gonna do this nice and casual, like, gradual, you know? Except we can now slow down. And, um, uh, wait till we hit the periaps. Start slowing down, you know, legitly. Doesn't seem like there's too much heat, so... Uh. Okay. Now we slam on the brakes again, because we're passing our perhaps. Now we chill, give it just a smision of stuff, and, well, now we're gonna come down. Which is inevitable. It's just that it's harder without actual freaking... You know heat shield being usable because the electric charge is gone. We're just gonna use the little bit of engine power to stay, you know, properly aligned. And we're gonna take our time and uh, get down there. Like civilized people. Yeah. This does not seem like a good thing. Yep, we are gonna tumble. Just... Get rid of that. Apparently that we're aerodynamic enough to have... You know, taking advantage of our heat shield, we got our shootout, we should live now. Okay, good. Just checking. Okay, that impacted the surface, glorious. Coming down in an ocean, and we are gonna get a fuck ton of science, unless the shoot breaks off. Which apparently it has chosen not to do. Much appreciated, shoot. You did good. You did so very good. Alrighty. So that should be quite a bit of science and quite a bit of cash overall. Recover the vessel. Perfect. 600. That will do nicely. Research and development. Well, what do we want? Mech. Ooh. Advanced fuel systems. Mech. 
precision control. Maybe. Maybe. Mainsail, maybe. What do I want, definitely? I want the docking. Large volume containment, not so much. Working towards nuclear, nuclear propulsion, though. That seems reasonable. That could take us all around the solar system, actually. Even if it uh, costs 10,000, that's more than a good deal. Advanced landing, maybe. That has some good stuff. Maybe. Maybe. Command modules. Maybe. Like the bigger ones could be good. What about this? Ladders? Do we need ladders? Are we going any place that needs ladders? Ooh. Okay, this could be actually necessary. We might want a communication satellite network up. Crap, I don't have enough science anyway. Okay, uh, let's take a look how much we have left on this part. Apparently it beeped at some point and I didn't notice. Well, in any case, uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you everyone who joined me for the stream and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.